Hello everyone, so in this tutorial I'll show you how to make a sprinting, player sprinting with a zoom effect. So basically I go in the input mapping context, I have add this action. Let me go back in the actions, I made an action called this IA, IA sprint and hook this in the input mapping context and assigned the shift, left shift. Okay, so go back to the third person controller. Now I have this okay so i will make a bool variable call this can sprint and set that to true or false on trigger sorry on start and on release basically this one it's saying it says on complete but it's released okay so make that false make that true okay so now on event tick, I will do my stuff. So basically by default, the character movement, let me say walk speed, the walk speed, I set that to 400. So if I go play, it is like this is speed. Okay, so let me interpret that. So now, first of all, I need to check on every tick that can I sprint okay so if I can sprint now set max walk speed okay now I will set the max walk speed based on let me do this F interp 2 so I will enter from two floats the first one is the get max walk speed itself and we can promote this to a variable, but I will make this, for example, let's make it 800, why not? And delta time will get world delta seconds, and we will multiply that. For example, it will be our sprint. It's not the sprint, but the interpolation speed about the sprint. So basically you can make any variable how, how much the interpolation speed will be. So basically on true, go do this, and we'll enter from the current one to this value. Let me copy this and paste that. And in false, go back to the default one, which is 400. So basically let me compile and play. And now if I hit shift, I'm going slowly to that speed let me increase the speed make it 1000 okay and we play and now I can sprint in that max walk speed okay when I release I go back to this state which is 400 so let me do a zoom effect let me take the camera boom and let me check the camera boom itself the camera boom has this target arm length so so we can say set target uh, target arm length also f interp to and get target arm length from its current to an offset so basically this camera boom this will be like that okay so let me reset that to 400 and i will put a value about let's say 800 and the same thing get me copy this and paste that and this will be a drop speed and this will be the delta time and let me copy and paste that down when it's false return back to the default target arm length which is 400 let me play now and see so basically when i say shift enable sprint and when i release disable sprint and this tick is listening so as soon as it's true okay and increase the max walk speed interpret that from the, the current max walk speed to 1000 and also increase the target arm length and also interpret that value. So let me play now. 
if I hit shift, now I have this. Okay, so it slowly interrupt the values. Okay, so this is how you can make this is how you you can make a zoom effect, a uh, sprint with a zoom effect. Okay, so if I hit re release, can do this. So he backs to 400 walk speed and 400 the uh, target arm length of the camera boom. So if I hit shift, so he interp to that max walk speed and the arm length. Okay, so let me go back and walk you through. So on, on when I press shift, can sprint to true. When I release, can sprint to false. And on tick, I'm checking that. So as soon as he can sprint, yes, please. Now make the walk speed from the current speed to the you can make this promote this to a variable you can make this as you like but i'm making that 1000 and this will be the interp interp, interp speed how much can i interpret to that value and also setting the target arm length of the camera room as i showed you this one okay this one and set that to 800 you can also make this as well for example, increase, let me increase this value, and compile, and play with these values. So if I hit shift, I can do this now. And it's smooth, because it's based on tick. Okay? And when I release, I go back. So you can do this. And when you release, this will be no longer true. It will be false. So please return to the max default walk speed, which is 400. And also to target arm length, return back to 400 because it's by default this value. So this is how you can make a sprint effect with a zoom target arm length zoom effect. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the future.